That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. And able to find Kirk complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Here we go. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. The quick slant caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Max Crosby in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Calvin Ridley, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars go up by two touchdowns. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Shotgun now for Carr. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute ball. On play action, it's Carr. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the 24, Carr. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Carr. He finds his man complete. That's Jenkins. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. 
He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away. Throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a play fake. Carr. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. On play action, now Carr. They'll roll him out right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that was so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Carlson able to put this one through. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to 3. Well, that's something of a pick-me-up. The offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it. Those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. This will be caught at about the five. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Raiders have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead down to three and 13-10. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From just shy of midfield, Lawrence steps away to his left. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting the game. Third and two, now Lawrence. 
Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Now Lawrence on first down. Jones has it. Room here to run. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range at the 28. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And to throw again is Lawrence. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series. Because and I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. So that challenge is successful one. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. On play action, Lawrence escaping the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So they're able to get that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter. And Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went into half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They go with Jacobs. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. On first down, Lawrence. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And a short gain down to about the 33. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big-time play. 
On third down, Lawrence. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Patterson's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting through. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. And it's complete to Adams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Meanwhile, Carr's throw there complete to Hamler. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Again, they'll throw with Carr. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Play action. Now it's Carr. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So the holding call on the offense. So they go ahead and decline that one and take possession of the football on the INT. Throwing now Lawrence on first down. Being chased out left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Here's Lawrence. And the Raiders have got him. Chandler Jones coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just... And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Phil Asada and Lincoln. And the Jaguars are going to have a short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw taken in by Ridley here. 
And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's got Rome. 67 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On second and goal, Lawrence. The quick slant, fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out, and the Raiders pick it up. Well, you had an offense working with a comfortable two-score lead here in the third quarter and certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action maybe throwing it. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram there to make the grab. And the Jaguars will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. So the Jags will keep the offense out there as they'll decide to go for two. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's caught. And he is going to get in for the two. Although there is a flag on the field, but it looked like a defender jumped. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. To throw its car. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Hunter Renfro, 67 yards. And the Raiders are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Hey, fuck up, fuck. Hey, hold it. Now Lawrence to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. 
And now it's third. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Quick slant caught by Kirk. A nice little juke. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A big play there on the catch and run. And he'll move the chains. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. 77 yards rushing for him now to this point. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now an option play on second down. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 of the red zone. Well, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Hey, Delta. On third and one, it's Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Calvin Ridley with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Jaguars add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Patterson now for the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. To the touchdown. Cook now to kick this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects now. Offense set to get this drive started. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. 
And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On play action, it's Carr. Looking deep for Adams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. That escapes the sack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Here's A.J. Cole now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Agnew now to return. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you know, Daddy. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Dean Lowry able to take him down. It's a loss of three. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they gain all those 40 yards here. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. He hits Adams complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Colton Miller, former first-round pick, called for the penalty there. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Card out of throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Throwing on second and long. 
Carr looking deep for Adams. Touchdown! Devontae Adams, 42 yards. And the Raiders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. Yeah. 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 Hold up, it ain't easy breaking away or being a great. They slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Could have starving stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental with the last time that I ate food from all of the base. My ace boom goon, big son told me about the game. Twenty years later. Know my name, King. Crown me lounge in the back of the spot. Pay homage to an underground peasant. Climb to the top. Funny style on elevators could never fade us. I peep data stain anytime they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. They should have cred with it. You be the fight or flight. I ain't one for the ledge living. I do it for the one that died of fed millions. With soul food, load and stock my bad kitchen. I'm liberated. I drew a play that they ain't illustrated. I make a move, they gladly imitate it. I ain't flattered, I'm a dragon to your paper castle. The Alpha and Omega promise it ain't nothing after. A new beginning. My catalog like James L. Jones, the ever living. Imagine if I did make beats, that's more for killing. Imagine if you come from the side by my city. You probably wouldn't make it, oh yeah, yeah, really. I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam, I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day, I got extras on the way. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. Ain't no mileage of foreign dollars configured. A road I travel, don't gravel, that probably baffle it. Labels scribble on paper, they want to shackle it. I own my masters and royalties, you can't raffle it. Wrist drip like a mango, fingertip like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles. Without a tango, tailor made. Walk with a limp, them bands is heavy, I need a brace. I am money, I guess the world is just a safe combination. Needed, not a coca key. I'm the extra lighter on the dresser. I know you need it, smoking out the competition, pouring up, we undefeated. What you heard, what you heard, let you heard, we eating, talking by. Extra with a splash, extra acting bad. Pull it like parades on parades, extra with a slab. Pay what it call for the tail, extra with the band. Young Chris, a king, better add extra on the. I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam. I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day. I got extras on the way. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. Yeah, it's a lifestyle not for you, but it's for me. Yeah. Boss. 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 Yeah. DJ Trauma. Never let a wishbone grow where a backbone should. Belly been taking the dash all wood. Stand payments to back end good. Got sense, but they act no good. Side through the lot of the starstruck. Hop in the ride and we took in the truck up a in the truck and they all. They might say what's up when they see me around the city, but really no reason to talk much. Dinner and nice guy, but no nice guys here. I'm toe tagging, no bill, bow baggins, y'all coming up short. Take a recess. This a heat check. Yeah. Shorty, let me quick as a clear with a pre check. It's lifestyle, not for you, but it's for me. Seen it myself for years, the vision is mine alone. Just me, myself, no peers. Yeah. 
I don't know who hyping them boys. I'm done giving life for the noise. I give you my life in the source. I don't even write anymore. Yeah. yeah. Get it and drove like it's whipping a stove. That break hard like habits. No days off, no Sabbath. Down. AMG, no bust now. A Mary Jeans, SB Dunks with a Fiends T, no button down. Specs for lead, that's for me, you don't f out. Round if you wanna, round if you wanna. It's lifestyle, not for you, but it's for me. Bossy. Boss, I'm gonna go without the eyelids. In the booth and I like proof and I don't understand what got enemy. Got a couple of truths that I bust out the roof of I'm ready to ride on my enemy. And you rappers just on my identity. And I really know why you ain't feeling me. Feeling me. With Tiffany, and they restore my agility. And I'm never rehearsing, I'm making a million of verses like Swizzy and Timothy. Never provoke with the go, cause I want all the smoke, you can call me a chimney. And I really want, but I settle for, I just ain't a spread of the widow's peak. Aim at your head when I kill a beat. Spaghetti and showers like Italy. Never let a wishbone grow, wear a backbone shirt. Sure. Belly Ben Tay, a dash all wood. Ten payment, the back end good. Got sense, but the act no good. Send the same money to Sudan, I could probably get a hood for a year or two. Stuck between stunting and a miracle. For real. I right, know close your eyes. Think about your wildest dreams. You ready? Ready? And you still couldn't do this. Gangsta Brazil. Yeah, that my Brooklyn go see side rock, south side, C12 911. Grr to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thriving. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex no day ready. See, we went on the ride nobody with. We the ones who started with it. Translation. Yanni had to buy a Yanni at Yanni hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go with it. Uh-huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stones from the dust, big dog with your leash. Where's the love in the streets? Put my heart on the beat. See that blood on my sheets. Yeah, when we ready, me hit it heavy. I zoom out the pride of my people already. Tell my to Ellie, me, I'm just sharing my journey. I'm thankful that people they hear me. Tribe of Joseph, I'm ahead of the bunch. P5, I was starving for months. A running cut team, both of my packets, me need my DNA. Baby, for lunch, but we call me a star before BBC. Don't take a lot to get rid of me. Me and them, no daddy. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Los Angeles Rams, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 23. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Los Angeles Rams. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup... Stadium. 
From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Now here comes the Los Angeles offense and the man in charge of it in his second season with the team, 14th overall in what's been an impressive career, Matthew Stafford. A seasoned veteran. We're seeing more chapters being added in Stafford's decorated career. Secured a Super Bowl ring, remains a respected leader, and his stats, they're better than ever. Now we just continue to watch him climb the ranks of the NFL's all-time passing leaders. Stafford going to put it up right away. And his first look is incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Second and ten, Stafford again. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Back to throw. Stafford. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019, Daniel Jones under center. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants, but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book surprisingly good athlete as long as he takes care of the football doesn't turn it over he can really make plays so from the 36 now first and 10 Jones is going to put it in the hands of Barkley on the option. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. backwards a bit. Still second down. Oh. Second down. Here's Barkley again. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
trying to get the ball to his tight end in the center of the field where he runs a lot of his routes and ostensibly is extremely comfortable. He was hoping he'd find a seam and a big gainer to go along with it, but that one was incomplete. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Wow, partner, it's almost a little jarring to see a holder set up on the other side of midfield. I would brought out my binoculars to make sure on that one. That is showing an awful lot of confidence in the kicker to try and hit from 61 yards, and this one winds up no good. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed them up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Don't Stay alert, down. don't jump early, and give them free yardage. Hey. To throw on second down is Stafford. And that's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sacked on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Yeah, the penalty, it helps a little, but they'll still have to navigate a third and nine now. Stafford now to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Touchdown, L.A. Well, he's been doing this for more than a decade now, showing that he's still got that arm strength from back when he was the number one overall pick. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. And that throw, pretty impressive, and even 61 yards through the air. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7 nothing lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's Allen Robinson who caps things off with a touchdown. Touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll go down at the two-yard line. What a disaster there. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they were in field goal range the last time out but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence is still is entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. 
They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. And they will start out in really great shape up close to midfield. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. Touchdown, L.A. Matthew Stafford, two touchdown passes in this first quarter. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got a down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine for the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh -oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. Oh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and, oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward, it's just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 18. The drive will start with an option going left. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they are going to score on a fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. Just their first in this half. We'll step aside and come right back. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. And New York set to take the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. 
but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Well, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Throwing Jones. Has this complete to Daniel Bellinger. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Offside, defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And Jones going to keep once more. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Now Jones. the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Jones throwing on third and long. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield.
21 nothing our score after one giant football and we're ready to begin the second quarter on fourth down here's jamie gillen on the punt back deep brandon powell That'll go as a 42-yard punt, and they'll be aided by a loss of yardage on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now that would complete to Skoranek. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Now Stafford. Throw's going to be incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A first down and then some. Give them 29 yards. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Stafford looks to throw again. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Here's James returning. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. And New York set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. So the 
opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the 7-yard line. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's Jamie Gillen down as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Thirteen yards, the tally on the return there. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. Stafford on first down. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. And that is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Well, maybe that's the spark that they needed here, Charles. Trailing, but a big block. We'll see if that swings the momentum a bit. You mentioned the word spark. I'm just wondering, as they went off the field and the offense was coming out, did one of those special teams members say, hey, obviously we haven't given up on this one. we are giving you a little bit of a spark. What are you going to do with it? Got a man. That's Richie James. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. On first down, Jones. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. Well, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown and a field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick. Obviously the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. After the interception, here's Stafford. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Stafford. He's got Higby complete right side. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end, 
now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing is Stafford. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And that one results in 35 yards. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now well, Stafford, that's out to the flat for Akers. And some space here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Great gains back to back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. Well, that is a running back who was not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Akers back to back catches. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Ball at the 14 for second and five. To the air again, Stafford. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And, what? and it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Make that now three first-half touchdown passes for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are able to add on to their first-half lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. This is caught on the right flat. Uses the stiff arm. And he gets in. And no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Partner, one more time. He put the ball on the three-yard line, kicked the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. 
We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Now on first down, he's going to sneak it. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just get the score. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Yeah.